Jedi, Survivor's Bode Kuna is Cal Kestis' most exciting new companion. Star Wars Jedi, Survivor will see Cal Kestis employing many new weapons, including his new ally, Bode Kuna. The latest trailer showcased gameplay featuring the new character, but only a tiny glimpse and not enough to fully understand the role he will serve in the upcoming game. However, a recent interview with Jedi, Survivor's developers reveals more details about Bode Kuna and his relationship with Cal. One of Jedi, Fallen Order's more notable aspects was Cal fighting alone throughout the main game. From a story perspective, it makes sense because Cal is a Jedi in hiding, so anyone he travels with becomes as much a target as he is. Despite having a small team, it felt like Cal was taking on the Empire by himself, which never goes well in Star Wars. However, the boss fight against Terran Malikos was a rare moment where Marin, a potential playable character in Jedi, Survivor, jumped in to assist Cal in combat. Jedi, Survivor is set to expand upon this mechanic with Bode Kuna. The Star Wars Jedi, Survivor story will pick up five years after the events of Jedi, Fallen Order, which concluded with Cal Kestis sacrificing the chance to rebuild the Jedi Order to keep four sensitive children safe from the Empire. We're expecting a darker tone to this sequel, as Cal is pushed into an increasingly desperate fight as the galaxy descends further into darkness. As one of the last remaining Jedi Knights in the galaxy, Star Wars Jedi, Survivor will explore how far Cal is willing to go to protect himself, his crew, and the legacy of the Jedi Order as the dark times close and around him. In an interview with Game Informer, Jedi, Survivor's director, Stig Asmussen, revealed that Bode Kuna will serve as Cal's AI companion. Specifically, Bode will aid Cal in combat situations and map traversal. This means Bode may be to Cal what Atreus is to Kratos in God of War. Cal is already set to use new combat stances in the form of lightsaber variants, so the implementation of the companion mechanic will likely add even more dynamism to Jedi, Survivor, hopefully creating more depth than what was featured in its predecessor, which was already great in its own right. Some intriguing story implications come with this mechanic as well. There may be a good reason for Respawn basing the likeness of Cal Kestis so accurately on actor Cameron Monaghan. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is set to take place during a pivotal period on the Star Wars timeline, with its events falling during the same point in time as the Ander and Obi-Wan Kenobi Disney Plus shows. Rumors have been circulating for weeks now that Monaghan's Kestis is set to appear in Obi-Wan which was further fueled by Ewan McGregor citing the need for his Disney Plus show to match up with events and lore from the video games. Given the prominence of the Inquisitors in the Star Wars Jedi games, and with Obi-Wan coming into contact with surviving Jedi during the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, some degree of crossover seems plausible. Is Jedi Survivor next-gen only? Respawn has confirmed that Star Wars Jedi Survivor is going to release on PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X in 2023. Game director Stig Asmussen says that next-gen features such as real-time ray tracing is allowing Respawn to work at a fidelity that's well beyond anything that we've ever produced before. The decision to drop support for PS4 and Xbox One will also allow Respawn to reduce load screens and times and invest in DualSense haptic feedback support on PS5.